you guys doing today? My name is Brady and welcome to another video here on our Skyrim 10th anniversary playthrough. So in the last video what we did, if we go to our map here, um, you can see that we went over to Bleak Falls Barrows, uh, acquired the Dragonstone and then cleared that out and got the Golden Claw for Lucan over here in the uh, Riverwood Trader. Um, so what we'll be doing today is, um, let's go back to the map actually, um, we're going to be going up to Whiterun um, and addressing the Jarl about the uh, dragon attack in Helgen. Um, so that he can send some support over down here to Riverwood um, for Alvar and Hagler and them. Um, so before we do any of that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in here into the, uh, I believe it's a sleeping giant in, um, and then get ourselves a little bit of a rest um, so that we can wake up um, fully uh, rested and head ourselves over to Whiterun. Um, so let's go ahead and do that, and I'll see you guys whenever we wake up. So as we finish sleeping here, um, you're going to see that we do acquire ourselves a new level. Um, what we want to do with this is I'm going to put it into magic. Um, and then I was going to put some um, a point into restoration magic. Um, but honestly, let's see if we can't go over to conjuration here. Once we get it into white run, I'm going to be able to acquire a, a spell called, um, I believe it's a conjure battle axe. Um, and that's going to be our main um source of our main source of attack is that uh, conjured battle axe. Fandle, you are such a creep watching us um, while we sleep. How does that? <laughs> I do not understand this game. It's in, it's in tea kettles. It's the tea kettles. Oh my. Um, but yeah, um, I was going to put it into restoration like I said. Once we get there, um, you'll see when we acquire it. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and I guess restoration just Whatever went to 20. Um, I've been looking for and th you. there's that's so much happening. Right now. <laughs> um, let's see. Like All right, so we got a we got a uh, we got a letter. That was so much in the span of like 10 seconds that just happened. Um, I was trying to tell you guys we're going over to to White Run. Um, but let's read this letter. Um, someone help me. A group of necromancers are experience are experimenting with uh, conjuring zombies using ancient dangerous magic, which I fear will have unintended and irreversible consequences. I use, I was expelled from their studies as their ambitions grew into folly against my warnings. They're preparing a ritual to summon a large group of these foul, uncontrollable creatures. As um, we speak in the southern um, most area of Skyrim, and we must be stopped before it's too late. Um, so they wanted us to go stop that um, uh, group of necromancers. We'll get to that eventually sometime. Um, but let's go ahead and eat real quick. So much happening. So much happening here in these first opening minutes. Um, eat a cooked brook bass there. We're all better. Um, but yeah, um, we're going to go to White Run, and I will see you guys once we get there. Uh, I'm not going to make you guys sit through me walking all the way over there. So as we approach Whiterun here, um, before we actually can get into the city, it looks like there's a giant uh, attacking a group of people over here. So let's go ahead and see what that is all about. Um, this giant is significantly weaker than most giants. Um, obviously, you can actually get some uh, hit points on him at such a low level, and you can see how fast everybody was able to take him out. Um, looks like we leveled up again there, um, so that's good. Um, let's search the giant. Looks like he just got an iron uh, arrow, which we don't necessarily need. Um, Ila the Huntress um, approached us, um, says we can make a good shield brother. Let's ask her what a shield brother is. I have not heard of the companions. I have, but for this playthrough, I have not. Um, for sure. So they're basically like hired hands per se, um, but they do do a good job, and they are a very respected um, group around Whiterun, um, as well as they are a very close uh, little brotherhood, um, so I say we go ahead and join the companions in this quest, uh, or this uh, playthrough, um, planned on doing that from the jump, um, I'm thinking about getting a mod that makes everything look a little bit better, um, like a, another texture pack, so if you guys want to see that added, um, then I'd be more than glad to do that. Um, here we have a carriage right outside White Run. Um, that if you click on it, you can um, Where do you, want to go? you can see that you can basically go wherever you want um, All right. throughout Skyrim um, as the cities are so far apart. Here we have White Run stables where you can purchase a horse, um, which we eventually will do um, as walking around just isn't going to be fast enough for us in survival mode. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and get into White Run real quick. 
So as we approach the White Run doors, a White Run guard will uh, will uh, will approach us here. I am here on official business, so let's see if we can't persuade him real quick. One of the easier persuasions in the game, but that should raise our speech. There we go. Um, so our speech has increased to 16, um, and let's enter White Run real quick. I already recorded all this, um, but I had to unfortunately re-record it because. <sighs> the game crashed as I was walking out of Dragon's Reach, so this is basically a run through for me. Um, these are two blacksmiths. Um, they're arguing um, basically about blacksmith things. Um, over here, you'll have um, your inns, your shops, um, so places you can just trade with, um, trade at. Um, and up here, you'll be able to have like your um, like a little establishment. So you'll have your um, your your Sit main city area right like center here um, as well as the companions are up there um, and then a few little other like um, buildings over here um, over here I believe we do have a disease um, if I'm not wrong yep so we have brown right here so light and heavy armor prevents 25 less damage sleeping is 25% less restful blah 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 does not matter as we are about to use the shrine here and clear our disease um, so yeah, let's go ahead and let's get into uh, the Dragon's Reach where we will talk to the Arl. So as we enter Dragon's Reach, it is by far the biggest building we've been in yet here in Skyrim. Um, looks like we will have Irlith here um, to approach us. It's kind of the Arl's uh, like bodyguard. Um, I know you're not accepting visitors, but I have news from Helgen about the Dragon Attack. Yep. Come on then. For sure. So let's talk to uh, Bogarth here. I did see the dragon with my own eyes. Um, the dragon destroyed Helgen, and last I saw it, it was heading this way. Let's get you a little fear going in your eyes. What do you say now, Proventus? Shall we continue to trust in the strength of our walls? I don't believe you should trust in any walls because that is not going to prevent a dragon. They're just going to go over top of them. Um, how do you know where the uh, dragon is? See, we're, we're already peckish. That's what I hate about this, is you're always constantly hungry, so gonna have to eat when we get out of here. Um, there you go. So that's what Alvor and uh, Hadvar wanted, was they wanted uh, reinforcements sent to Riverwood. That's the main reason we're here anyways, because they, they sent us to get reinforcements for them. Um... Me out on your own initiative. Done white run a service. Done white run a service. For sure. What are you gonna give me? So he just gave us some steel armor. Um, I know that that steel armor is uh, reinforced with some fur on it. Um, it's like Nordic steel armor, um, and it's actually a much better. Um... Hold on, I'm gonna finish talking real quick. Probably should interrupt him every time. He's been looking into a matter related to these dragons and. So he wants us to talk to a court wizard over there. He's going to walk us over there. Um, but what I was saying was this armor that we just got is a big upgrade to what we've had. Uh, so we can get our steel armor here. As you can see, it has the um, the fur on it. Um, it gave us a 27 per, uh, plus on our warmth rating as well as 6 points um, better in armor rating. So that's a su substantial increase there. Fando is sprinting. He is, he is not playing around. I'm not going to talk to this guy because he's a dick. I like to talk to him as little as possible. I can't stand him. Um, but yeah. Let's uh, oh, search Chester. Got 14 free gold. Nice. Um, there you go. I guess I'll fill him in. I'm just not a fan of this guy. You can be of use to me. Oh yes, he must be referring to my research into the dragon. Yeah, right. So he is a dragon yes, studier. So this must be the perfect well, time for him. He's excited. Fetch, the dragons are I back. Delve into a dangerous ruin in search of an ancient um. All right. Where am I going and what am I fetching? Straight to the point, eh? No need for tedious hows and whys. I like that. Leave those details to your betters. Am I right? This is why I don't like on your betters. Learned of a certain stone tablet said to be housed in bleak vault. What if I told you that we already have the dragon stone? Go to bleak vault's barrow. I'm gonna cut you off real quick. I already found the stone, so yeah, I'll give him that real quick. You already found it. 
You are cut from a different cloth than the usual brutes they all voice. And just so happens that I knew that that was going to be in there, and I took a quest that uh, allowed me to get it. So, um, he can't give us a reward, so let's go to the Yarl real quick. Um, and it looks like he's going up there, he's having a meeting. Um, can I talk to the court wizard yet? Maybe. I wonder what era left in so oh, Not yet. You need to come at once. A dragon has been sighted nearby. You should come to me. Dragon. You want me to come and see the dragon. Well, what would you do with it? <laughs> this guy does get me uh he gets me weak though. He gets excited about this dragon when it's supposed to like it's it's a dragon. Like I wouldn't be excited about a dragon being outside. Um but anyways, let's go up here and let's go to their meeting. Um while everybody gets up here, let's go ahead and uh, collect all of these um, base locations on our map. Alright. Alright, and these three up here. Four. You don't need to be here. So I practice with my fists. I never ran so far um, so basically they're just talking about um, the uh, dragon that was spotted at a watchtower um, and they basically want reinforcements to go out there um, and take this dragon out. They're going to ask me to go um, and help take the dragon out. We're not going to do that just yet. Um, we're going to go first before anything, um, speak to the companions and see what they're about. Uh, but I will talk to him here real quick. Do ya. I want you to go with Irileth and help her fight this All right, I will do that. You survived Helgen, so you have more experience with dragons than anyone else. I did, wouldn't say that I have more experience with with dragons. I kind of just saw one and ran. <laughs> As a token All right, what is he going to give me here? I have instructed Avenici that you are now permitted to purchase. All right, so now we can purchase property in Whiterun, which is a big bonus as a... Uh, Finally, have a place to unload all of our goods um, and uh, just sleep. But we do have to purchase that. I believe it's like five thousand gold. All right. He's talking to them. I do want to talk to him because this is where we will get that uh, conjure battle axe spell that I was talking about. Uh, what do you have for sale? I gotcha. So let's go here down to his books um, and then bound battle axes right off the uh, bat. We'll go ahead and pick that up real quick. Um, actually, do we want to pick up any more spells off of him? Let's see real quick. I do want to start working on uh, alteration as well. Um, is that something we probably shouldn't push off too much? Um, books. Um, those are like spells that are um, like implemented via the um, Creations Club. So those are like unique spells to that. They're not like base game spells, as you can tell by the difference in the books. Um, but let's see here. Um, illusion, alteration, what is this? Candlelight, create a hovering light for 60 seconds. Don't really need that. Um, anything else? Not seeing anything. Oh, there we go. Um, oak flush. We will take oak flush. Um, we're not going to be able to use it necessarily right this second, um, but we would definitely take that um, as it will be beneficial for us whenever um, we get more magic um, that we can use. So let's go ahead and read that book real quick. I just want to see if we can use the battle axe. Um, I guess we have clairvoyance there as well. Um, if our magic's great enough for us to use it, but I did take the, uh, the novice conjuration spell, so we should be able to. Um, cross our fingers let's I don't have enough magic so that was basically a not necessarily a waste of a perk we're gonna have to take it eventually uh, but I could have taken it a little bit later and put a point into restoration um, but nonetheless I mean at the same time think about it I have to take it eventually so it's all good uh, we really don't need the fur armor anymore as our uh, steel armor definitely is good enough for us right now maybe later in the game we'll pick up a, another set of fur armor but i'll probably end up selling that here soon um but for now let's go ahead and get our um our ancient nordic battle axe of cold out um and just rock with that until we level up enough to use um the uh conjure battle axe spell could we use oak flush by chance if we could use that that could um start getting our alteration a little bit up 
even if we're not using Oh, we can't use egg flush. That's great. We can use that, and that'll increase our uh, armor rating for a certain amount of time. So sweet on that. Uh, but let's go out here, and then we'll head down to the companion's um, little base of uh, operations, and I will see you guys there. So as we approach uh, Jarvix, I don't know how to say it, the companion's headquarters, um, looks like they're in here just beating the shit out of each other. Um, <laughs> so that's a, that's a great thing to see when you first walk into a place. Um, but no, let's go ahead and walk down here. You have to go down here to um, actually talk to their leaders. Um, so yeah, let's go down here. There is so many people in this place. Um, but nonetheless, they're down through here. Um, see, uh, Vilkas and uh, I forget the other ones. Codlack. Um, so let's talk to him real quick. All right. Um, first, I want to know who the companion. Actually, we already know who the companions are. Skip through that. All right. Um, I would like to join the companions. I guess this guy can like look at people in the eyes and like tell if they're worthy or not. So he can just look at us and say you're good to go or not. What is that supposed to mean? Uh, for the moment, though, um, Fando, I hate to tell you, brother, um, but. We are going to have to part ways because there's a glitch here um, when one of these guys, I forget, I forget who it is, um, but he takes us upstairs to fight. If I hit him, Fandle will attack him and they will kill us and I don't want to waste um, one of our lives on a stupid mistake. I gotcha. Um, I have much to learn. That's the Vilkas here will get started. Of course. Uh, Vilkas will take us out here, um, and then he will basically let us beat the shit out of him for a couple seconds. Um, so, yeah. Let's go ahead and uh, meet Vilkas outside. Take up arms. Fainrill's just roaming this place. He doesn't deserve to be here. Alright, we'll go up here. Have you? Um, we'll go over here real quick, and then, uh, we'll meet him out back. Um, see a couple more people back here. Torgar, um, Farkas. Just a couple people. Um, Vilkas. Wants to do this. I forget if he wants me to take it with my... Alright. All right, bang! He literally just had us hit us one, t hit him one time. But for now, you're still a wealth to us, and be careful. That is no good. I don't respect that, but whatever. Got to start somewhere, I guess. Uh, basically, gave us a sword. Um, the blacksmith that was uh, arguing with the lady blacksmith when we first walked into White Run. Um, is up here, and we will uh, have our first encounter with him. Uh, so let's see here. What brings you here? What brings me here? Uh, Vilkas sent me with his sword. I'm guessing you're the newcomer. I am the newcomer. How did you already hear that? I just got here. Um, does Vilkas always send newcomers? Just doing what I'm asked. Keep it simple. That attitude would get you far. If you were some stuffy merchant. Or All right. Else, okay. You? Okay. Around here, you'll want to learn to live your own life. So basically, he just told me not to just do whatever they tell me to do. So, thank you. Um, someone has to be in charge, though. Are you a companion? Not actually a companion myself, but none of them know how to work a forge properly. And I'm honored So basically, you're a companion. <laughs> My name is Eorlin Greymane. I work the Skyforge. Best steel in all of Skyrim. All of Tamriel. All right. Um, I will need to be going. A favor to now, what do you need? I've been working on a shield for Aela. My wife is in more right. I need to get back to her soon. I'd be much obliged if you could take All right, you're a faithful husband. I appreciate it. Um I'm happy to lend a hand. That's a good man. After he told me not to just do something for but whatever. Anyways. Um Let's go ahead and return that uh shield to her real quick. Um and then we'll meet Ayla. Um unless she is the one I don't believe she's the one. No, that was a different person that greeted us the first time. Steel Warhammer right there. Um, go down here real quick and then uh, give her that shield. Where is she at? She's back here. 
If you wish to hunt with me, your feet need to be quick and your All right. Clear. She actually was the one that um they greeted us. Oh, I got to sneeze. Huh. <laughs> Sorry. Um, I have your shield. There we go. I saw him training in the yard with Vilkis. Ah, yes. I heard you gave him quite Did I? I literally only hit the man one time, so I don't know what you're talking about. Do you think you could handle Vilkis in a real fight? Probably not. Actually, I don't care for boasting. I am a, a man of action, you're right. Alright, we get our own room here. So we actually don't need to technically buy that, um... Yeah, we got some ice wrath teeth. We basically don't need to buy that house right off the bat, since we're, um, siding with the companions. Um, as we get our own room and everything. Alright, Farkas. Um, he'll show us where we can stay. We'll basically be able to load, unload some stuff over there. But I do want to basically get a house, um... Just to have one and have my own space um, until we get later into the game when I'll build my own. Um, but I'm living here basically in like a dorm room for everybody that um, is involved with the companions. Um, where will I be sleeping though? Yes. All right, so here you are. Looks like the others are eager to meet you. Are they? Where do I sleep though? Once you've made a bit of a name for yourself, Skior and Vilkas might have things for you to do. Which one is mine? Good luck. Um, I haven't seen you before. That one right there. Um, looking for something to do. We've gotten a letter about some. I have like a million people talking to me at this this point in time. I don't know what the fight is about, and that's not our business anyway. This is not the guy talking. Just need you to go out there, look tough. Scare this milk All right, so we did get our just our uh, first uh, quest with the companions right now. Um, I can handle that. Get to it then. Gotcha. Um, I would talk to these guys, um, but I'm not really too worried about them right now. Um, let's go ahead and do our first companions quest. Show them what we're about. We're not ne necessarily supposed to be attacking anybody here. Uh, more so, just scaring the shit out of somebody. Uh, so that's what we'll do. Step into White Run, and then I'll see you guys uh, when we get there. So as we go in here, we're going to the War Maidens, which is basically another, uh, just another blacksmith shop here. Uh, Albert Warbear. All right, I have been sent to resolve a dispute. Uh, like first, I'm gonna sell some stuff with him, um, and then I'll kick his ass. But for now, let's see apparel. Oh come on. Take a look. Apparel. Now, for now, we can sell the uh, fur armor. Um, it's only sixteen dollars, but whatever. Um, huh. Iron helmet of destruction. That would be. That's nice. So we'll actually keep that and then uh, equip that, and then we'll just sell the regular iron uh, iron helmet there. Um, looks like we got three iron ore. Um, let's actually put that on real quick. Good. Before I forget about it. Let's see here. Apparel, and then, uh, where is it at? Iron Helmet of Destruction. That's not a bad little one, but, um, you look like yeah, I've been sent here to resolve a, uh, dispute. Let's go. I do need to best, uh, probably take my, um, Let's yeah, that does it for me there. Beat the shit out of this guy. I don't want him to beat me here who looks bad on the companions. He's gonna kill me. This is not supposed to be to the death here, sir. Oh. Oh, shit. I did not mean to do that. Did not mean to do that. That is my fault. Definitely just lit this man up with, with the spell of uh, flames there. Just trying to get restoration going here. Healing. That was what I was trying to do. Um, not set him on fire. But anyways, come here. There we go. This is tedious. There's quite a few things like this in this game where you can just have to beat the shit out of somebody to teach them a lesson or settle something. Uh, take them all the way down. If this wasn't on, I think it's on, I forget, heart or heroic difficulty or something. If it, if it wasn't on that, it wouldn't be too big of a deal. It'd be easier than this. There we go. 
he was talking all that shit. Um, let's heal ourselves real quick there. Um, let him get up and then he'll talk to us. You're tougher than you look. You got me. Fair and For square. sure. You know what you have to do. Fine. I'll take care of it. Just please leave me alone. All right, so that, that's good. Uh, we basically settled that for the companions. Probably going to look at us a little bit better there. Um, let's go ahead and head back over there um, and let them know that um, we took care of their the dirty of dirty work for them. Do you get to the cloud district very often? Oh, what am I saying? Of course you do. So let's talk to uh, Farkas here. Um, took care of the problem in Wyro. Seem to have a knack for this kind of thing. I'll make sure people. All right, cool. Um, completed higher muscle there, um, and then we should be able to get our like. was looking for another quest. Don't know. All right, so he told us to go ask uh, or talk to somebody else real quick. Um, he doesn't have any work for me. My brother Vilkas is a better talker than me. Um, we could pay here and get a uh, little couple boost to uh, heavy armor. So let's go ahead and do that. Honestly, that's not bad. Um, maybe train like five levels here and go along with that. Uh, it's only 320 gold. So let's just do two levels there. Um, that'll boost our heavy armor up a little bit. Uh, make us a little bit. Uh, no, I don't want to do that. Um, make us a little bit more susceptible to um, attacks. Let's talk to a. I don't know how you pronounce this. Score. Um, you wanted to see me. I did. Your time seems has. Has it? What do you mean? Last week, a scholar came to us. Said he knew where we could find another fragment of Uthrad. He seemed a fool to me, but if he's right, the honor of the companions demands. All right. What does that have to do with me? This is a simple errand. Time is right for it to be your trial. Carry yourself. Farkas will be your shield sibling. On All right, side. so Farkas is going to conti uh, continue and venture off and with us, um, and uh, and we'll take care of this um, this quest for them real quick. Um, so let's speak to Farkas, um, see what he's about. I hope you've read it yourself. I have. You're going to be my shield brother. Let's see if you impress. All right, and then. I'll meet you at uh, Dustman's Cairn. Don't delay, Shield brother. All right. Um, this is probably hitting around 30 minutes now, and I don't want to make every episode about 45 to 50 minutes. Um, so for right now, um, I'll probably end this episode here, um, and then in the next video, um, I will definitely, um, definitely start working with the companions and um, and going through their quest line before I do anything. I want to finish the uh, companions quest line. Um, and then start working on the main quest again. Um, but for now, um, I'm probably going to end, like I said, I'm going to end the video here. Um, if you guys did enjoy the video, make sure you guys do like the video. Um, subscribe down below. It definitely means a lot. Um, I'm probably going to be making more um, playthrough videos more often. Um, as I don't want to just limit them to uh, once a week as it will take forever to get through this game. Um, so I'm going to try to start making uh, playthrough videos once to twice a week. Um, just depending on if I have the time for it. Um, but yeah, um, I will see you guys in our next playthrough. Um, expect that being out here in the next uh, couple of days. Uh, peace.